Hi, I'm David Sampson. I'm 19 years old, and I am playing Captain Albert Lennox in The Secret Garden. Hi, I'm Hannah Christensen. I'm 17 years old, and I play Aya. I'm Eddie Tejas. I'm 20 years old, and I will be playing the role of Fakir. Hi, I'm Savannah Wilson. I'm 19, and I play Mrs. Medlock. I don't know. I don't think I'm that much like Le Neville, because at times he can be really manipulative, and he thinks he's better than everyone. About that. I, I don't think I'm like Rose at all. She's not a very um, like loving person. I mean, I am pretty mysterious and magical. In relating to my character, I think that uh, that I'm not as like uppity up. I'm kind of just like, hey, how's it going, you know? While well, he's like military, like, oh, here's me up and up. Yes, in a sense, Dickon is a boy and he's very young at heart and very all over the place. And that's kind of me as a person is kind of distracted and boyish. She's got such a compassionate heart. She's trying to help so many people throughout the show and I, I try to do that. I try to be that person who recognizes when people need comfort, need compassion, but at the same time she's very delicate and flighty and graceful and I'm not graceful at all. And by the end of the show I can I connect with her in many ways because I like see the best in people. I am kind of loud like he is so I can be, I can scream. I'm not always depressed, <laughs> you know, or, or at least I don't look like I am. In this show, I had to work with a dialect coach for the Yorkshire accent, which I and a few other people had to do, so that was definitely a challenge for sure. Good evening, Major. I'm Mr. Craven's housekeeper. I researched the character in depth and try to relate their story in their life to my own life. Uh, I remember during a rehearsal one time, I was supposed to act like I was running through trying to find Mary because I felt like I lost her. I had to run through and keep in my mind that, like even though I went off stage and something else was happening, in my mind I had to keep going thinking, oh gosh, where is she, where is she, where is she? And so when I come on stage, it, the moment would still be real. And so like when I finally see her, it's like, oh, she's safe. Well, I remember I was in The Wedding Singer. My character, he would jump on the bed and say, hey, we gotta go. And then they'd be like, yeah. And so then we'd jump off like high school musical style, like, like, you know, like that type of thing. When we jumped off, he jumped off first and I jumped off second, but the bed slid under me. Like, I just like totally biffed it on the stage. It just blacked out and everyone was just like, oh. And like, I, and I was just like, I'm okay, I'm okay. So when I was in here in town, I played Miss Pennywise and I was like taking Mr. Cladwell down the stairs being all tough and stuff and I tripped over his foot and fell down about a good like 20 steps <laughs> all the way down to the ground and then I had to stand back up and my entire body was like a little sore <laughs> and I had to stand up and act all tough and I was wanting to run away. In high school my senior year we were doing Annie the Musical and I was playing Daddy Warbucks. I'm supposed to pick up the phone, but I also had like a shot of whiskey, which was just like Arizona, like iced tea. I kind of like swung it back and picked up the phone, but it just spilled everywhere. <laughs> so I wiped my face off and I'm just like, yes. I was in The Wizard of Oz a few years ago. It was the scene in the castle with the witch and it was like right before we kill her. And I won't name any names, but he knows who he is. He forgot to bring the bucket on stage. She like said the line like where he was like about to, where she was about to grab the bucket and throw it on the witch, but it wasn't there. So she like took his like spear and like stabbed the witch. And she was like, oh, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. And I was like, <laughs> like laughing in my character voice. <laughs> Amazing. It's Just... been enough years. So most embarrassing thing to ever happen to me on stage. Um, I'm pretty sure I win by like 10,000. As a singer, I drink a ton of water all the time. And especially I was in a um, this show where I was singing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I drank so much, so much water. And you know, right before you go on stage, you're like, wow, I have to go to the bathroom. But you're like, wow, when I get on stage, I might not have to go anymore. And since I didn't have time, 
I was just like, okay, I just need to go on stage. So I go on stage. I was like 16, mind you, not a little kid. So I go on stage and I continue with the scene and I realize I cannot hold it. And so basically what happens is I pee on stage. I peed on stage. I was speaking, I peed on stage. Thankfully, thankfully it was at a point in the show where where people laughed in the audience because they thought that my character was supposed to be afraid and they thought it was a special effect. The only reason I'm okay with telling this story is because I kept going. I continued with the scene. I sang a song and everything. And um, it wasn't the end of my life, but I felt like it was at the time. So like, beat that embarrassing story. Cause because it has such beautiful music and the story, it's just awesome. I think everyone will enjoy it. I think people should come see Secret Garden if they're looking for something different, something exotic. I think that we pull it off really, really well. And um, if there's a stigma about youth theater, it does not apply here. It is a youth show, but we are not portraying it as a youth show. We have a talented cast and we are working very, very hard. People should come see Secret Garden because the show is absolutely beautiful. And as an audience member, it is an experience that you will not want to miss out on because it really gives you a new appreciation for the art. People should come see Secret Garden because the show is absolutely beautiful. The music's beautiful. Um, the music is so beautiful. The singing is beautiful. It has such beautiful music. Well, it's just gonna be a beautiful show. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And my boyfriend, my still God. my boyfriend, went, he was a techie for the show, he ended up cleaning it up. Oh my God. During the blackout, went out with paper towels. Towel, oh my God. Paper towel, he cleaned that 